my name is Savita, this is Rashida, and this is Lena. And we worked at the Brooklyn Botanic Garden on improving and editing the interactive keys. Our mentor was Dr. Gary Moore, and our co-mentor was Paul Harwood. And I'm going to talk about what we continue doing from last year. Rashida will talk about what we're currently doing, and I'm just going to conclude the whole presentation. Last year, we worked on interactive keys, and it's basically a computer program that helps identify and can be used for synopsis of classification of plants. And the interactive keys can only identify woody plants so far. And we also work in a herbarium, which is a cold room that has huge cabinets that preserves dry plant specimens from the New York metropolitan area. And these plants come from all around the world. And this year, we also help file the plants by the family name, and we also helped count the specimens that was in the herbarium that were from around the world, and there's like over a thousand in each cabinet. Yeah, you only need to copy this because it was given two weeks ago. And, that, and we also did mountains this year as well as last year, is when we basically um, placed dry um, plant specimens on acid-free paper, and you have to be careful with these plants because they're very old. Some come, some are like new and some are from 50 years ago. So you have to be very careful and take our time. And last year we also worked on seed, the seed index, which we went to the garden and collect seeds. We have to make sure they were dried enough and packaged them to send them around the world to different botanical gardens. But this year we didn't get up to that. We have to wait later when the seeds are dry. So we could do it sometime in August with Deborah uh, working in the garden. Hello. Basically, this year we're working on transferring the information from the old forms to the new forms, and we have to be kind of careful because when we transfer the information, we have to make sure it's exactly the way it was in the old form. So we have to copy and paste it the exact way it was before. I hate presenting. Um, okay. And the forms, basically, the forms are used to label and record all the information about the invasive plant species in the area that the scientists found it in. Mostly these plants are found in the metropolitan area, in the New York area, or in New Jersey and Connecticut. This information will be added to the interactive keys that we're working on. The current set of the interactive keys only covers woody plants, and so now we're covering herbaceous plants, such as a lily, compared to an oak tree. Okay, basically, the left form is the old form, and that's the new form. And in the old form, the numbers are whole numbers, and here they're in percentage and decimal, so it's a little bit more exact. So we copy and paste the information from there and transfer it to that. So basically, it's pretty simple. It's not hard. And it's a little different because in the old form, it'll say, like, for example, it'll say high for something, but here it'll say very likely. It's a little different. Okay, we're working on the rubus species and basically, you know, the genus, right? Okay. And basically, they're known as blackberry plants. And first, we have to collect information about that genus. And then we went through each species, which is about 200 species of the rubus genus. Yeah, or more. Okay, and then we copied and pasted the distribution map from natureserve.org. And the information that we collect will be used by our mentor to write a treatment of rubus for flora of North America, a research project that seeks to describe all plant species in North America. So basically, the information that we collect will be used to determine the species of rubus that are in North America and their distribution throughout North America. Okay, and that's natureserve.com. Here are the that work, yeah. Basically, these are the species, and then you press on distribution, and then it says where they're located throughout the U.S. Yeah, no. Basically, we are using the interactive keys because it's um, a proper way to identify identify plant species, and also we're 
are using this method for the invasive, invasive species because that this way we'll know which plants are common and they're also dominating different habitats so they're also invading other plants and taking over like where the other plants and then we're also using, uh, we're also working on the rubbish treatment no, because we also want to know um, how distributed it is in North America. And this way we will describe all, eventually, all the books for the flora of North America. So we will describe every plant in North America, in the whole continent. Um, this slide, you have bef we had before, but basically we're going to continue on the interactive case and we, will ho we hope to add the herbaceous species onto the interactive case and then this way we'll, we'll have created an electronic way to identify all plants. These are our references. Uh, we thank our mentor, which is in the picture, um, our co-mentor, Paul Hallwood, um, the garden, of course, Dr. Shat, Harm Children's Society, and staff, friends and family, teachers, and of course you guys. <laughs>